Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's Salon Interactive webinar, Setting Up Your Online Store. But before we begin, just a few things I'd like to go over first. All attendees are on mute, meaning you can all enjoy your coffee as loudly as you want this morning. But we do want to hear from you, so please post any questions within the question window of your dashboard. Now, we have got a full house today. We have over 250 people joining us, and we will do our best to keep up with your questions. But if your questions are not answered during the webinar, we will be following up via email in a timely manner. Any questions then? No, just kidding. Anyway, let's get on with the introductions. My name is John Bertorelli. <clears throat> I'm a business success director and an industry professional for the last 45 years. These are really exciting times. Um, your presenter today is the wonderful Joseph Britton. Joseph is our partner support specialist and will be going through uh, setting up your online store. Joseph, take it away. Thanks so much, John. Uh, welcome everybody to setting up your online store. Uh, just to review real quickly, uh, what we'll do ideally in this whole process is get you signed up for Salon Interactive. You'll be able to choose your own distributor and brands. You'll be able to set up direct deposit for your product commissions. You can customize your online store. You can start selling professional products online. You can add your staff so everyone can get credit for products sold. You can get ready for your welcome pack which I'll explain at a later point. You get to meet Kate and get your questions answered. And you can finally, you can check, you can check out our video on promoting your online store. So just to begin, in order to sign up, we'll go to www.saloninteractive.com forward slash salons. Once you're there, you'll wanna click on the sign up button. Once you've clicked on the sign up button, it's going to ask you for your information. So uh, there's a whole list of things, uh, but you'll wanna include your business name, your address, your city, your state or province, your postal code, and then it'll move on to your first name, your last name, your phone number, your email address, and then your password. With your password, this is one that you're making up for you um, there are no requirements. This isn't something that we need to know. Uh, this is simply so that you can log in at a bit later point and check on your store. So uh, I would definitely make it something memorable uh, so that you can don't have any issues with logging in later. If you do, you can always let us know and we'll be able to help you through. Once you've entered all that information, you'll click on the sign up button. When you get in here, you should be automatically signed in. Uh, so you should see options for choosing different distributors. Now, uh, this could look very different from uh, your location and what you what distributors you'll have an option to choose. Uh, and that is basically dependent on uh, where you're located in the country and what's available to you. So don't let this these specific distributors discourage you. Once you've chosen that, uh, you go into each distributor and you should see something similar to this. The first one that it'll ask you is, do you want the distributor to send you product announcements, promotions, and education to your clients? Uh, you don't have to click yes with this one, but it is definitely recommended because essentially that is just free marketing that you benefit solely from. Uh, with the second one, you'll wanna ask if you want your distributor to ship orders to your clients through your online store. This one is critical that you click yes, because if you don't, click yes on this, then you can't feature this distributor or any of their brands in your online store, and you're pretty much stuck. The third option is uh, some distributors do offer the option of ordering your salon orders directly through Salon Interactive. So you'll see in this, if this is clickable to yes, then that is an option for your distributor. Some do and some do not. The next step is that you'll wanna enter in your account information for that distributor. Once you've done that, you'll click on the save button. Once you've chosen all your distributors that you're interested in, then it'll guide you to this and you'll choose the brands that you want. With each brand, what you'll do is you'll just scroll over top of it and click the add button. And that will give you the option similar to choosing your distributor, what it'll ask you if you want to uh, be able to email directly to them, to your clients on your behalf, and then if you want those products to include in your online store. 
Once you've chosen all your brands, you'll move on to the next step, which is entering your bank information. This is very important because if you don't enter your bank information, we won't have any way of paying your product commissions. Product commissions are paid out if you've had any sales. They are paid out every Friday for any sales that happened in the previous week. So once you've entered in your routing number and your account number, you'll click either checking or savings and click save. Uh, once you do that, it will send two small deposits to your bank account information. Uh, and then you'll need to validate those at a later point, but I will explain that in a little bit. The next step is that you want to upload your logo. Uh, with your logo, you would just click on this up arrow and it'll prompt you to upload any sort of file. Now, if you don't have a logo or you feel like your logo doesn't work right, what it will do automatically on our system is generate uh, in the upper left hand corner the name of your salon in text similar to what we see at the top here. So if you don't want to upload a logo, it's not critical. Once you've uploaded your logo, the next step is that you'll choose your online store link. Uh, this is just basically just customized according to how you want to look. And this will just be the link that you'll give to everybody in order to go to your online store. And we have a whole other webinar where we can discuss how to distribute that out. Once you've chosen that, the next step is your additional settings. So with this, it asks you how many service stations you have at your salon. Because of that, well, the reason we ask that is because uh, what we'll do is we will send you a welcome pack about one to two weeks after you've enabled your salon, your e-commerce, and you validate your bank account. And within there, there will be table tents and mirror clings uh, that for each of your stations that include a QR code that people can just take their camera and view the QR code, and it'll take you right to your online e-commerce store. Once you've entered that number, you'll go to terms and conditions. Here, if you want to view your terms and conditions, you can just click on the little red icon, and that will pull up a PDF that you can read through to your heart's content. Basically, what it comes down to is any information you upload into the system belongs to you and does not belong to us, and we will never use it on our own behalf. Once you've agreed to the terms and conditions, you'll just click I understand and accept the terms and conditions. The next step would be that you'll enable e-commerce. E and so this is pretty critical because if you don't enable e-commerce, then you won't have a working online e-commerce store. Once you've clicked that, you'll just click complete, complete and you're good to go. Now at congratulations, you've now saved your salon at least $5,000 you provided the salon with 15 to 20% additional revenue each, and you've also provided tools for three times the customer retention. You've authorized you to focus on sell-through, and you've opened your door to service 24 seven. Congratulations. So once you've copied that link, you'll be able to view your e online e-commerce store. So you can paste your link and then do, into a new tab to see your store, and it should look similar to this. So as you can see, a logo is in the upper left-hand corner uh, that'll be branded with your online e-commerce store. You should be able to see each of the brands scrolling through here, uh, dependent on which brands you chose. And then down here, you can choose by product category. So if you wanted to just look at all the shampoos you feature or all the styling products you feature, you can do that. All right. Okay, and then the next step would be to engage your team. What you can do is you can add in each of the stylists that are in your salon or anyone who does, will get credit, credit for product services, for credit sales, for product sales. Um, and so you can just click on new user, enter their information, and it'll generate a login for them so they can log in themselves and see what product recommendations they've done or, and also what products they've sold for them. This will, and most importantly, create a drop-down menu in the online e-commerce store that will let them choose who deserves credit for the product sales. Okay, and then finally, as I was talking about before, uh, with validating your bank account status, what you'll want to do is you'll go into your bank account and you should see, once you've entered your bank information, usually 24 to 48 hours after the point, you'll be able to see two small deposits in your bank account. What you want to do is check those two small deposits and then go back in here, log in, go under e-commerce, 
and then set up and then click on bank account status and that will allow you to enter those two small deposits so you put the amounts here under deposit one and deposit two uh, to validate your bank account uh, this is very important because if you don't validate your bank account any product commissions that you generate will not be able to be paid out to you uh, and this is critical because obviously we want to be able to pay you and we don't want to send it to the wrong place okay and that brings us to the last part which is the welcome kits which i mentioned briefly uh, which will give you the your table tents with your qr codes and your mirror cleans with your qr codes it'll also give you some directions on how to promote your online store uh, the qr code is very important because all it takes is just to put your camera over it on any phone and it'll automatically generate a link so that takes them straight to your online e-commerce store are there any questions Hi, uh, thank you, Joseph. That was great. Um, we do have a couple of questions. I said earlier, we, we have many questions coming in. So I'm actually going to just work from the first one or two because I know we are running out of time. Sure. Um, and I think you answered this, but the question that came in was how long uh, did you say it takes for, uh, for the two deposits to show up in my account? And how do I how do I get back in to put those deposits in? Uh, so I the way that deposits back in. Yeah, so the way it comes through is it'll usually come through uh, 24 to 48 hours after uh, you've entered your bank information. In some cases, it might take a little bit longer, like if you entered it on a Friday, it might not generate it out until uh, like the middle of next week. So I would give it until like the next Wednesday uh, to see if it's there. Once you find those two deposits, you just remember the amount and then you would go back in, log in to, to app.saloninteractive.com go to e-commerce and then set up and then click on bank account status and it'll give you an option to enter those two amounts and click save and that should validate your bank account thank you joseph and that, uh, we've got time for one more question again i'm going to pull the next one down in the queue um, so i'm looking for my favorite uh, my favorite brand um, i see it in the listing but i'm not able to uh, select it for e-commerce um, is there a step that I'm missing? So I, I do see it as a, an available brand, but it's not allowing me to select it for e-commerce. Yes, that probably means most likely that you need just need to reach out to your distributor or your DRC and discuss with them because sometimes with certain brands, you just need um, some extra documentation. So once they get the documentation completed and submit it, then you'll be able to click that and say, yes, I want to carry that brand. Thank you, Joseph. I think that's all we have time for now. We have a, we do have a long list of questions. Um, so if, um, we'd like to close out now. So if there are any questions or comments or concerns, we have a great sales and support team uh, here to assist you in any way. So uh, right here, you're seeing Kate Sampson. She's our business success specialist um, and is really help, uh, able to help all of your questions to be answered. And also we have an email address here, support at saloninteractive.com. Uh, any of those questions will be answered in the same way. And then we also have a, a dedicated support line, which is 866-388-1210. And uh, we'll be able to help you with those questions as well. So three ways to reach us. We are very excited to be uh, introducing these webinars to you. And Joseph, thank you very much. That was a, a great webinar. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.